put it anywhere on my device and it's just so so cool Good what's up guys the tech spot here and wow okay today is an incredible day because apple did release ios 14 beta to developers and in my last video i showed you guys how to install the beta for free without a developer account and without a computer now i've been using it just for a little bit and i must say Apple, you knocked it out of the park, okay? This is the update that we have been waiting for. All right, now starting out with the bang, the coolest feature that you'll find in iOS 14 is the ability to add widgets. Now, if you swipe over to the left, yes, there are widgets over here, but if I go back, I go in and put my icons in wiggle mode. So just tap on edit home screen. And now there's a plus icon on the top left, tap on that and you go and search for different widgets or there's ones right here. So there's a weather one, scrolling down, there's even more. There's the batteries widget, calendar, maps, music, news, notes, photos, podcasts, reminders, and so much more. It's really pretty cool. I know Android has had this for a while, but I don't know. It's just so much better on iOS. They have it so much more optimized. It's more fluid and it's so cool. Now this is very thought and put together. So if I go and tap on, for example, this wedge right here, I go and swipe through the different ones. So I have this one right here or this big one right here that shows me the entire forecast. So to add it, all I gotta do is tap on add widget and boom, there it pops up on my home screen. Now you guys can see that I can even do it even more with this widget. So I can go and swipe up and you can see on this day and top stories and news and stuff like that and calendar. I can just put whatever widget I want from there and I can switch them around just like that. So it's super cool. Tap on it, of course it opens up the main app. Now if I'm going to tap and hold on this, I go and edit the stack or edit home screen, remove weather or edit the weather. So if I tap on edit stack, you guys can see I could choose which apps I want in there. So it's really, really cool. So I could just go and rotate this like this and it also has smart rotate too. And I could even go ahead and add more. So edit my home screen and let's add another one. For example, let's just do um music i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have a music one all the time and so yeah recently played no recent okay so there's different ones i'm gonna add this one right here and you can see just put it anywhere on my device and it's just so so cool it gives your device a whole new look and it's just still so fluid it's ios so i can see i go and swipe through these and just works really well. Now, again, if you don't want to clutter your home screen with these widgets over here, uh, I would just keep one or two widgets. But anyways, swiping over, there are widgets still available in this section over here. So you can put them back on this page as well. If you just want this page for widgets, which is super cool. Now, there's also a spotlight search right there as well. So yeah, those are widgets. Now, if I go and swipe over to the very right of my device, I can see I have this right here, the app library. Now, this basically organizes your phone with their libraries of apps. So you actually have my suggestions recently added utilities if i go to tap on them it just has a nice animation look at that this is, this is so cool so anyways if i scroll down you guys can see just categorize everything so if you don't like to organize stuff manually then you got the app library so you can find your apps super easily and look at this guys and it gets haptic feedback so it kind of vibrates as i go through this as well as you would expect so yeah very well built and very well put together so we have the widgets and we got the app library what else could be great about ios 14 well picture in picture is finally here in stock ios so basically if i open up my safari app i go to apple um, i think it only works on the apple website right now but soon other websites will implement this as well but anyways if i watch the keynote tap on play you yeah, can see now there's a new button right there and that is for picture and picture yeah, I can see now it puts it at the very bottom. I'm going to move it around, X out of here. Wow, my camera is having a hard time focusing, but yeah, I can see the audio is playing. I'm going to pause, play, do whatever I want. And I can even go ahead and slide it off to the side over here. And I can still have the audio play too. So like this, you guys can see the audio is still playing. I'm going to go turn that down. But yeah, super, super cool. I can just watch wherever I want, FaceTime and watch a video and just do whatever I want. So it's super cool. It works in every application. Look at that. Well, except for the camera app, I did find out that it does not really work in the camera app, but you wouldn't really need it to work in the camera app. That would be kind of weird trying to take a picture and watch a movie or video at the same time. So yeah, very thought through and it works super well. Now, if you want to put it back in full screen, you can tap on that button. And by the way, when you're in picture in picture mode, you just want to get rid of it. There's an X, you just tap right there and it'll get rid of it so super cool now you might be thinking about well what about youtube well currently as of making this video youtube does not support picture in picture on ios 14 because it just came out and it's in beta all right so you can see if i load up youtube let's go and skip the ad there is no button to allow for picture in picture so it's not there yet but i feel like youtube will add this feature as a premium feature because again this picture in picture does allow for background playback as well which right now is a youtube premium feature so i feel like on youtube in order to happen 
picture in picture, you would have to have their premium membership or YouTube Red or something like that. Or when a jailbreak is available for iOS 14, you would still be able to use picture in picture on YouTube regardless. Well, anyways, guys, those are the three big features, okay? Control Center still looks pretty much the same. You got this one right here, NFC Tag Reader, which is pretty cool. So you can just hold it into the tag and it'll scan it. And this is what the notification center looks like too. So yeah, there's also new wallpapers. If I head over to settings and I go to wallpaper, yeah, I could see there are new iOS 14 wallpapers, which are these three up here. And so yeah, looking pretty nice. Now, again, iOS 14 will have more wallpapers available. Let's go and tap on live. These are the ones that are available there. And these are the dynamic ones. So same ones right there. But anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this look at iOS 14 and all the cool features that are here and super cool. I wish my album artwork would show right there, but because this is kind of my test device, I don't really have it signed in, but all the album art cover and stuff like that, the music, the playback stuff would pop up right there. So, so cool. And yeah, guys, finally, the update that we have been waiting for. Soon, there's not gonna be a point of jailbreaking because Apple's really adding every single feature that we want now, which is great. They're listening to the consumer. Anyways, Apple, keep it up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy iOS 14. And if you want to install iOS 14, my link to my video will be down below in the description on how to install it for free. This is a text bot, and I'm out. Peace.